Q. Weekday mornings at 7. Oh, so cold in New York, even the firefighters are frozen. Take a look at these pictures posted by Richard Mercado uh, from Ladder Truck 124. Now, they were fighting a warehouse fire in Brooklyn, but it wasn't hot enough to melt the ice that covered the firefighters as they fought it. You can see everything covered in a thick coating of ice. Right now, New York City temperatures are in the low 20s. So it is no doubt cold, cold enough that we'll see as moisture comes in there from our winter storm some snow and that is already having some impacts right now in parts of the midwest check it out here we are looking in on missouri interstate 35 north of kansas city in the bethany area estimated about two to three inches of snow here for us well we've had some numerous slide offs here on the road and an overturned semi truck here that is in place so that is not a good scenario and again it's only a couple of inches that has led to that situation and we've got more to come particularly as we head north and eastbound uh, with this system. Let's talk about what's going on with the radar. And there it is, the snow continuing here. So, again, travel's becoming treacherous here along 35 north of the Kansas City area there. Now, across the Midwest, we've certainly seen our sort of a lack of snowfall so far this season. A lot of snowfall deficits being run, including in and around Cincinnati. So far this year, six inches of snow. On average, we'd be closer to a foot. And again, we'll be adding to some of these totals here over the coming day or two with our winter storm Linus. Here's a look at the water vapor imagery, and you can see what's showing up here. A lot of moisture indicated by the milky colors and the pinks that are showing up. And where it's cold enough, we've got the snow ongoing here across Nebraska into Iowa. Now, cold air in place out there for us. You can see that's trying to come in from the north out of Canada, a little bit farther to the south, some warmer air trying to sneak its way on in. It's right there the, between the two where we sort of get into that sort of middle ground of who's going to deal with the rain, who's going to deal with the snow. But what's happening as we head into tonight, overnight period, that contrast in temperatures is really going to tighten up. And that's where we will set the stage for a rising motion in the atmosphere, that strong ascent, which is going to lead to some very heavy snowfall rates beginning tonight. So during the overnight, things are going to get pretty tough for travels across Iowa into uh, Illinois, spreading into Indiana as well. Chicago, one of those spots. Temperatures in the low 30s, snow continuing here for you during the overnight period, and it's going to pile up out there for you. So, again, if you don't have to be traveling, please stay off of the roads. We'll see winds starting to gust as well. It looks like during the uh, that period between uh, now and 1 o'clock, a couple of inches of snow continuing into tomorrow morning from 1 to 9 o'clock. Heavy snow and wind, an additional 3 to 5 inches of that snow. And then as we move our way beyond that time frame, finally by Monday morning, we start to see the snow coming to an end. So it's a long duration, and that's why we could see 12 inches, 15 inches of snow in and around Chicago, which, of course, would be the most we've seen so far this season. And look at the big totals that we'll see anywhere in the purple, dark purple, a foot to a foot and a half. That includes you even around Detroit there as you get into Michigan. And just west of Cleveland, we could also see some big totals. But look, you head south, not too far, and you run into nothing. Bonnie? Wow. Well, we are with you.